Hi, I'm Dan Whitaker, and today I'm here to talk to you about how to be able to trap down on the golf ball with leverage. And this follows um, a question by one of the readers from Gotham Golf and also from Golf Works. Now, during the conversation or during the um, letter he wrote, he was talking about the concept of being able to turn through but holding leverage, but then the lack of being able to um, have a low point in the golf swing where he felt that the golf swing was in its longest and how he was able to trap the golf ball. Now, I'm going to talk to you about how he's going to be able to do that because he, he felt that, you know, when he got the golf club back here and he wanted to be able to um, trap the golf ball, he felt like he had no release whatsoever because he'd been told, hit down on the golf ball, feel like you're showering down on it and really trapping down on the golf ball and squashing down on it. He then said, well, but I feel like I have no release in this, so I have to feel like I let go of the angles this way in order to release it. Now, I can see how some people have problems with this in terms of learning how to release the golf club whilst also having it maximum leverage. And there's um, a few key components that all come together to allow this to take place. Now, they, they're, they're, they're pretty key in terms of being able to trap the golf ball and for you to be on top of and covering the golf ball. Now I'm going to cover the aspect of covering the golf ball and having the low points in the swing and how it all can fit together. Now, first of all, let's just dispel this myth again that this guy was having. You know, he, feel, he felt that you know, he, he took the club in the ground like this when he held his angles. So, Hell, it felt like I had no release whatsoever. There is always a release in the golf swing. You know, the golf club releases one of two ways. Cross the hands over, or we can let the left wrist reek up here, and this releases the golf club. You mean you will not get a golf club any more released than this is right here. But my hands have nowhere near come crossing. You see from the front view here, they look like they have, it's merely an optical illusion. As when I go this way to you guys, you'll see here, my forearms have never touched. There's a gap right here. When we get this flicking it in, the forearms will always touch, and that's the way that some people release the golf club. It's not, you don't need to try and release the golf club this way. I even see people trying to let the golf club work around left and flick it in like this, and they get themselves in all kinds of trouble. You know, they're hitting, they, they, they've got a golf club that's trying to move around with a shirt face, and they hit a ball that starts left and goes further left. It's really not a good thing. Now, in terms of the original poster's question, in terms of how do I trap a golf ball? Well, this is pretty simple, okay? Let's get this golf ball in place for starters here. Now, what I have to do is to be able to trap it, first of all, I have to hit the golf ball with some shaft lean, meaning as I'm coming through here, I'm having to come through, striking it with shaft lean this way. In other words, my hands are ahead of the golf ball at impact. My head won't have gone forwards, okay? It won't have gone backwards. My head will have stayed quite centered. My left, my left side will have cleared across over my left side and I hit it with maximum leverage this way. This is trapping the golf ball, okay? You're hitting it with maximum leverage. Now, as I go here, there's going to be a point where my left arm and the club become in line. So, as I strike the ball, okay, after I've struck the ball here, I'm, I'm catching the ball, I'm catching the ground, and the maximum length of my arc is about here when the, my left arm and the club become in line together. That is the low point in a golf swing, okay? But the key to being able to trap it like this is being able to get it with the right elbow staying on the right hip, on the front part of the hip. So then the right side is all working through the golf ball and never stopping, and the left side is really merely being pulled in by the opening and pulling from the left side of the body. That's how we trap the golf ball with shaft lean, and the extension, or the extension of the release, or the low point, is after the golf ball, here, when my left arm is at maximum extension, and the shaft is fully in line. You get people who catch the golf ball heavy, they have the golf club and the ball in golf, 
club and the left arm in line here and they catch it heavy by the bounce of the club digging in and they've gone backwards like this and flipped it in other words in order to try and release the golf club much earlier or to try and square the face up due to many different things that they may be doing in their golf swing. Now, the other area of getting the golf ball trapped, which is a huge area I see covered by many different instructors, is trapping or covering the golf ball. I hear people saying, you've got to return your chest over the golf ball like this. Now I move my head forwards and I'm way over it. My chest is over it and I'm very square here but I'd have to be up as well. They think when you've delivered your sternum over the golf ball, like this, this is it covered. This is not it covered in the slightest. It's covered via the left side moving away, which is creating a secondary axis tilt, this being my primary, which is my spine. And then as I come down via my weight shifting across from my lower half, my upper spine is slightly more tilted away from the target, therefore my right shoulder can work down and under. It says my right shoulder is slightly behind the blow here. As my left side has opened up and extended out, my right elbow is on my hip and my hands are ahead of the golf ball. This is it trapped, but the right side is covering. We'd see it from down the line here. This is the right side covering. We can see how the, it covers the ball this way. It's not out ahead of it, it's not backed out, it's covered. It's pretty much over the back end of the golf ball. It's not ahead of it, it's the back end of it. My head's very centered. So these are the two areas that allow us to A, trap the golf ball, hitting it with shuffling, and B, cover the golf ball. Now, we're going to be able to maintain the, our leverage coming into the ball, not trying to throw it away early by doing this in order to try and release the golf club. <clears throat> the release is happening via me turning. I am holding, trying to hold back this leverage, which is our job, and it will simply release itself when the arms become fully in line here. So I'm going to try and keep the elbow on the hip arms will become in line here and the golf club will release when the left wrist has recupped there. This is the releasing the golf club by turning the body and releasing it left. And then you will always see when someone's released it left and correctly the golf club will be much more across their ears at the finish and the arms will be much wider to the finish here. So the throw out in their golf swing when they have allowed the left wrist to recup here for the release release will be much wider at the finish here as opposed to someone like uh, a VJ Singh as an example who uses his hands to release the golf club a lot he will be released here so this is his inertia throw out inertia throw out okay hands coming off and then it comes into this narrow finish with no width at the finish because it hasn't had the throw out at the end this has all just been falling in. This has also got momentum, it's all still connected, they're all synced up, my first is recut, this is the finish. Now I'm just going to hit a little short shot for you now just so that you can see it's in action, the whole swing where it's gone, short little mini swing back, simply transferring across and unwinding around to the finish. A kind of what I'm going to describe as a not quite nine to three, but more a 10 to two golf swing. Here to here, where you'll see it fully releasing around. So, yeah, I'll get myself into a decent setup position here. Get myself quite comfortable. I will turn deep, even a little 10 to two swing. Up and deep. And this is it, fully synced up here, with it nicely released there. Now, the key to it all is and everything synced up and then allowing that left side to do a lot of the work and pulling the right side down and in so the right side can cover the golf ball into impact. I hope this has helped everybody with uh, questions of low point in the golf swing, how low point occurs, what happens during the impact area and how to hit it 
with um, some shaft lean and trap the golf ball. If you have any questions, please email me at danwhitaker at btconnect.com and I look forward to speaking with you all next time. Thanks a lot.